What is up everyone? I'm Steven here with Tiny House Listings and today I wanted to take you on a quick tour of our new tiny house model. Uh, before we were building the model tiny and that, that comes in 28 feet uh, length and also 24. And this is uh, the new model we're calling the Lad, Life After Death. It's 16 feet long. And this one is all about budget, all about very, very sim simple and extremely affordable. We're actually calling it an ultra budget tiny house. Uh, so let's take a tour. Okay, so this tiny house is 16 feet long and it comes on two 6,000 pound axles. Uh, the tiny house weighs less than 6,000 pounds, which means you have about 6,000 pounds of weight to spare whenever you tow it. Uh, it comes with a 36 inch entry door and it comes with four large windows. Um, the siding is made from LP Smart siding sheets. Um, this is a 50 year product and we paint it whatever color you want. We give you some swatches when you order and uh, you pick which one you want and you let us know. Um, on the front, we have a water hose spigot. So if you, so let's say you have a garden out front or whatnot and you wanna water uh, your flowers uh, or you know whatever, spray off your deck, uh, you could do that here. We have a GFI outlet. If you want, it's an option that you could have a mini split. It would be mounted here on the back. comes with a 50 amp plug and this is also we haven't installed this yet but this is where the water hose would go to supply water to the house um, as you can see here this is an adapter that we use so you could literally just plug this thing right into a house uh, or this could also go to a battery uh, bank with an inverter very very easy to hook up there's the window on the back this up here is where the vent is for the uh, fan in the bathroom and this is also where uh, this is the vent for the sink in the kitchen. <laughs> and this is also where your gray water and your black water come out with an RV adapter. If you didn't want that, if you just wanted to do a 90 degree PVC into the ground, uh, you could just chop that off, put an adapter there with an elbow, 45 degree elbow, 90 degree elbow, and run that wherever you want, whether it happens to be city sewer or septic tank. Here's the front of the house. Also has a metal roof. Top. This tiny house costs $35,000 and there's only two options you can actually have that are upgrades. One is a compost toilet and the other is, like I mentioned before, the mini split. So we'll go inside here and check it out. So like I said before, the tiny house is 16 feet long. And uh, the whole intention was to have everything on this end, right? So the bathroom is literally only two and a half feet wide. And this is another two and a half feet, the kitchen area. So from five feet back, you have your bathroom, you have everything, you have your kitchen area. So then when you pan this way, you have the whole 11 feet worth of living space. So there's lots and lots of options you could do for storage, sitting area. Um, but it's pretty uncommon to have this much space in 11 foot in a 16 foot tiny house. So you could have sitting area here, here you could have a, a queen size bed. Um, I've even seen day beds that you pull out the bed underneath. So during the night you, you could just tuck your bed away. Um, we didn't put a lot of storage in this one just to give like kind of like a blank canvas. We announced over the weekend uh, this on Facebook and a lot of people mentioned that, hey, where's the cabinet space? But we didn't do that because the owner for this one wanted to add her own storage space. But you could have storage all along up here. On this end, all the way down, you could have a storage pantry if you wanted. Uh, storage, of course, underneath the bed. They even have beds with hydraulics that you can lift up and have the entire thing uh, storage. There's lots of options. You can have storage up here. You could have a trundle. Uh, we have a hookup right here where you can put uh, a wall-mounted TV if you wanted. And there is lighting in the ceiling. The kitchen is just a little over five and a half feet wide. We did like the waterfall right here, which I think is a cool look. Hot water heater goes underneath. It's a 10 gallon hot water heater. Stainless steel sink. I'll take you into the bathroom really quick. Standard size toilet. Wall mounted pedestal style sink. 32 inch shower. All of our tiny houses have vents to vent out the moisture. And of course you could open the window too if you want. So this tiny house starts out at 35,000 and the three options, the two options are to have mini split, which 
your head of your mini split will be mounted here. Another option is to have compost toilet. And you can see we already wire, we put that wired up. So if you have a compost toilet that has a fan that needs to be plugged in, you could literally just plug it in right there. Have a GFI outlet there. And the third option we're considering, which I don't think should be a problem, as you can see, this comes with a uh, hot plate, but the third option we would have would be to recess an induction cooktop here, just for a small upcharge. And we're gonna start in the future ones as well. I believe we're gonna do a peg style pegboard here. We could put in wooden dowels. You could do a shelf there. You could hang forks on different ones, whatever configuration you want. But I think we're gonna do a pegboard shelving system there. So you can hang a lot of additional stuff. So this is our 16 foot tiny house that we call the Lad. Ultra budget. The lady who is buying this tiny house from us actually is in a coastal area and has a backyard and she's about five minutes from the beach and she anticipates she'll make about 25 to 30,000 a year um, on her Airbnb when she rents this one out. And again, this is 35,000. So if you're an investor, you can kind of quickly get an idea of the returns. And if you bought this to live in full time yourself, obviously much cheaper than living in a regular home. All right, so thank you for taking the time to check out this tour of the lab, our second uh, model that Tiny House Listings is offering. Uh, we are going to have another one of these completed really soon, and we'll have some different configurations with different storage options, just to give you an idea of what that looks like. Um, but if you're interested in having us give you a quote on a, a lab or a model tiny, which is our other one, uh, just click the link down below. So Tiny House Listings has another website called tinyhouselistings.build, not just tinyhouselistings.com. And, all, and there you can get all the information you want. But one thing I failed to mention is that this and all of our tiny homes are NOAA certified. Uh, so you can rest easy knowing that they are built to a very high quality, very high standard. So anyways, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.